Good morning, Sunday School. Here is our lesson for this week. The theme of today is prayer and action. Let's start with prayer. Thank you, God, for showing us how to serve and how to pray. Be with us as we go into the world and help us to feel your presence in our daily lives as we pray and play with you. Amen. So our story today, it's a story about Simon's mother-in-law. Do you know what a mother-in-law is? So that would be Simon's wife's mother. And she was sick. She was really sick and everyone was worried about her. So Jesus and Simon went to Simon's house for lunch after they had been in the temple, the synagogue. When Jesus saw that this dear woman was sick, he simply took her by the hand and helped her get up. After Jesus touched her and helped her out of bed, she felt so good and was so grateful that she went right into the kitchen to prepare Simon's favorite meal. Later that day, people heard that Jesus was in Simon's house and that he had been healing people. So people came to Simon's house. They brought sick people, people with all kinds of sickness and hurts. When they got to Simon's house, Jesus put his hands on them and they got well. At the end of the day, Jesus was really tired and stayed at Simon's house to rest. He got up very early the next day so he could go off to a quiet place to pray and talk with his father, God, so he could listen to his father, God, and listen to God and what God wanted him to do. So I wonder what people thought about that healing. We say prayers for healing in the church for people who are sick. And I wonder why Jesus got up and went to a quiet place to pray. Do you think it's easier to pray when it's quiet? It might be, but sometimes we have to pray when it's noisy and we don't have a choice to go off where it's quiet. You wonder what Jesus said in those prayers with God? Well, we actually have a prayer book, and I'm going to share with you today uh, a prayer book that is especially for families and children. So let me share with you this book. It is called The Common Prayer for Children and Families. It's a really lovely book, simple, not quite as big as our uh, prayer book that we have in church, but it has some of the same prayers and it has some different prayers. So let me go um, to, I want to go to my table of contents. This is what this line does. And I want to share with you some of the sections of this book. It's a book that you can have on Kindle, or you can actually get a hard copy of this book. It's just easier for me to share with you on the screen this way. So in the first part of this book, we have the Lord's Prayer. And a lot of you already know this prayer, but there are also mealtime prayers here. So let me share those with you. Look at that picture. That'll be a nice picture to color. So here is the traditional Lord's Prayer, and you know it, so say it with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, 
and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So we say that prayer every Sunday when we have Eucharist. Uh, it's a good prayer to know. And people remember this prayer all their lives. So if you don't know the whole thing yet, take some time in, and learn this prayer. There's a more contemporary version that we don't actually use at St. Paul's, but take a look at this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. This book also includes another version from the Iona community. So you can look at that here. And then there are mealtime prayers. Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. What a nice, simple prayer to say at mealtime. And the one that probably your parents might know, I know it's one from my childhood, and so might be one that you have learned as well. Bless, O oh God, these gifts to your use and us to your loving and faithful service. Make us ever mindful of the needs and wants of others. Through your many names we pray. Amen. So mealtime prayers. I want to go to part two and just show you the, the things that you could pray during the day. Look at this, all the different parts of the day, getting up in the morning, school lunch, taking a trip someplace, and then bedtime. So there's Sunday morning prayers. And so these are prayers that you absolutely will find familiar. So we say, let us pray. Um, the Lord be with you. And you say, and also with you. Let us gather in stillness and silence. God, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. So these are um, wonderful things. There's a song here. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. So wonderful things. And they're done by day. So lots of things to do in this section. Praying through the church year. So right now we're at the end of Epiphany, but we will be entering Lent. So here's Advent at the very beginning. Uh, do you remember lighting the Advent candles as part of the service? So that's part of this book. At Christmas, there's a blessing in this book for blessing your Christmas tree. What a wonderful thing that would be. Epiphany is where we are, and it's about light and being the light in the world. And we're getting ready to move into Lent, and Ash Wednesday will be on the 17th of February. So where we put the ashes on our heads, um, Ashes will come home to you and your family and you can say prayers and put ashes on one another. I wanted to share this book with you because it contains many things that are just simply for children and families. So now I'm going to stop sharing this because I want to show you what the activity is today. You could take a plain piece of paper or you could have your mom or dad or someone print out the um, page from the newsletter. 
So this is what that page looks like. And you can color that page. It's a big wave, look at that. And what I've done is write a prayer next to that. So this one is bless oh God, these gifts to your use and us to your loving and faithful service. Make us ever mindful of the needs and wants of others through your many names we pray, amen. And so I, I did one like that. And I did one for thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. So you can see that one here next to that picture. Lots of ways for prayers. Also, if you would like taking a blank sheet of paper, writing a prayer that you know, and then decorating the page. Maybe it's the Lord's Prayer. And if you don't know the Lord's Prayer completely, have your parents help you get it written onto a page so that you can be practicing with it. And then decorate around it, whatever makes your heart sing. That's what I want you to do. And again, if you wanna share it with me, I'd be glad to see it. And I'd be glad to share it if you are okay with that. So let me know whether you're okay with sharing your work. We here at St. Paul's love you. Let's pray before we end this session. We're going to say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. It's been so good to be with you this morning. I hope that you are well and that you are staying safe and you are wearing your mask. We love you.